Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. It's a beautiful sunny day. Oh, and the wind is calm and we're happy. Listen, it's a beautiful time for me to bring to you another beautiful gun. So listen, if you're a hunter, if you're a sportsman, if you're somebody that loves to target practice, if you're somebody that conceal carries, or if you're just somebody that loves a beautiful gun, I've got something I want to share with you. So don't leave. Stay where you are because I've got something I know you're going to like. I certainly appreciate. Listen, my channel just reached a milestone. We just uh, went uh, to 3,000 subscribers. We have been here for three years. Three years, three thousand subscribers listen we want you to pay careful attention uh, we're celebrating this but we want you to be aware that we want this channel to go and grow and get bigger and by that I mean we want to see it become successful to where it will become fruitful for us we want you to support it. We want you to help us. And if you like this content, if what I'm bringing to you is something that you like, I want you to do me a favor. I mean, it's something that's going to be beneficial, be beneficial for you. I'm here to help you. Yes, that's right. I'm honest with you. I'm here to help you. I want to see you learn something, whether it be from a gun or whether it be a scripture or whatever but just hit that subscribe button. Would you do that and help us to gain a lot of strength and momentum and get this channel really where it should be? So I will appreciate that. So let's read from the Word of God. And you know, listen, I love the Word of God, so let's do it. And the bugs are attempting to bite, but nothing major. Let's go to the book of Romans. The book of Romans, chapter 13. The scripture says in verse 10, Romans 13 and 10, love, notice that love. You don't hear that much anymore, do you? No, you don't hear it. I'm going to tell you something. Love is something that's born into your heart by the Spirit of God. Love is born in your heart. You need to think about that. It's the opposite of all hatred. It's love. It's the love of God. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate to you here today. And notice it said, Love worketh no ill to, this, to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment, fulfilling of the law. And verse 11 says, and that knowing the time, do you know what time it is? That now it is high time. Notice that high time. To awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Think about that this evening. I want you to understand something. If you're not aware of the circumstances that we're facing now across this country, I don't know what planet you're living on. Did you hear what I said? You need to awake out of sleep and listen to the Word of God. I mean, our salvation, I'm talking about the coming of the Lord, is so close. It is so close it is so close. Just take a look around you and see the writing on the wall, if you will, and look at our country in the shape, the shape that it's in. It's unimaginable. When I was growing up, I could have never, ever imagined the shape that our current country uh, uh, that our country is in now. It's unimaginable to me at that particular time. And even now, as I speak to you, it is so grossly, grossly out of control. Listen to me. This may be a crude term to you and you might not like it, but our country is currently being raped. Did you hear what I said? 
And why do you say that? Just take a look. Our people are being bankrupt at the grocery store. They're being bankrupt at the gas station. They're being bankrupt economically, physically, and every other way that I could mention to you. And not to mention that, just if you don't believe what I'm talking about, just turn your news on and look at that. Our country is being ravaged. It is being raped by people that are looting and robbing and stealing and killing. You need to be aware of what's going on. If there was ever a time for you to be armed, it's now. Did you hear what I said? Americans are buying guns right now, and God bless them. They should, and they need to. And if you don't have a gun, let me encourage you. It's dangerous out there. People will shoot you. They'll stab you. If you look at them the wrong way, or if your skin is the wrong color and doesn't match theirs, they'll shoot you. That's the kind of America that we're living in right now. And you take a look. I read this morning where there's about 35,000 illegal immigrants that are backed up over on the other side of Mexico, ready to just storm this country when Title 42 is dismantled in about two weeks. You know what I'm talking about? They're gonna bring their disease. America hasn't seen the last of this, and God help us, we know it's coming. Folks, those people are coming from all points of the globe, and they're going to infiltrate and saturate and aggravate and destroy everything in their path. And that could include your life. Most people say, well, I don't believe anything like that will occur. It will be more than that, trust me. I'm not big on predictions, but I'm gonna tell you something. Where there's 35,000, there's probably a hundred more thousand that's here to about it and know that it's gonna be, and here they come, and all the border patrol, they'll have to get out of the way because they'll be stormed and uh, trampled underfoot. And you think this country could be in for a, a, an epidemic like it's never had before. And I'm talking about these people. Many of them were sick. See, that Title 42 held them back because they were sick back during the pandemic. But now they're hearing about it and they're coming. And you know many of them are still sick. And they're going to bring that right into you, right into our environment, right into your neighborhood, right into your neck of the woods. It's high time that you wake out of sleep. It's high time that you wake out of sleep. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to pray right now. You need to pray right now and get some strength, get some encouragement, encourage yourself. These new gun, these states that are passing laws to ban, there ain't no such thing as an assault weapon. They're, these guys in the White House, they don't know a single thing about guns. They don't know nothing about guns. And yet they say, we've got to pass laws to ban the concealed, uh, ban the uh, semi-automatic rifles. They don't want to ban just one rifle. They don't want to ban just one gun. They want to ban them all. They want to ban them all. They want to take them all. I say to you, if you don't have a gun, you better buy one. You need, you need to protect yourself. And God, thank God we still have the right to protect ourselves. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. If we don't have, and it doesn't look like that we do, we need godly men in Washington that's got guts and that'll stand up and say enough is enough is enough is enough. Our Constitution is going to remain intact. You need to get brave. You need to get courageous. God give us men in Washington that'll, that'll uphold the Constitution and that'll fight for it. Yes, 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 that's what we need because we're facing it right now. And if we lose our Constitution, we lose our country. All that'll be left is a banana republic. 
Now listen, I'm not a bright boy and I'm not the brightest light in the room, but I can see the writing on the wall and I can smell the coffee. I know what's coming. They're fighting it with a vengeance to destroy the Constitution of the United States. And if American people sit on their cans and let it happen, you might find yourself looking for another country to live in and it won't be America, it'll be a third world country. We need to pray for this country. God bless the gun buyers. Keep buying those guns. Women, yes, women, women, women. They're getting excited about protecting themselves because they're getting robbed and raped and killed. This country is getting ravaged and raped every day. And Americans are going broke and busted and disgusted. And if you're not disgusted with the current situation, I don't know what can help you. I don't. I really don't. So may the Lord bless the reading of his word. I've got to show you a video. I've got to show you a gun and let me show you one. Listen, I'm sincere. YouTube may not like some of the language or the words that I use, but let me tell you something. I'm not afraid. God give us men that'll stand up and talk and tell the truth and tell the truth and won't compromise. Our leaders in Washington are not working for the benefit of this country. They're working for the benefit of the Chinese government. Now, I'm telling you the truth. And if I don't shut up, I cannot stop. Okay. Here's a case. Here's a case. And there's obviously something in the case. I want to say a special shout out to my friend, my good friend. His name is Pee Wee. Well, of course, you know what I'm talking about. That's his nickname, but we'll leave it at that. He's making this video possible. Thank you, my good friend. I appreciate you so much that his name is Pee Wee, and he is making this video possible. All right, now let me show you what I'm going to reveal to you. Take and cast your eyes on that beautiful gun. Take a good look at that. Oh my goodness, I could point this thing and I just simply cannot show to you really like I want to the beauty of that beautiful gun. Just take a look at that. It's, it's currently not loaded. It's not, but look at this. Look at that wood. Look at that real wood. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, polished steel. Okay, Kenny, what is that? Of course, all of you, you know what that is. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful revolver. Uh, that is a Smith & Wesson 41 Magnum. Not a 44, not a 357, but a 41 Magnum. This belonged to my buddy and friend, Pee Wee. It belonged to his dad. This goes back to the mid to upper 80s. Let me break this down for you. Take a look. Take a look at that. That's a six shooter. Now this was developed by Smith and Wesson. They partnered up at that particular particular time back back in 1964. 
they, they developed this particular gun. They partnered up with Remington and Ruger, Smith and Wesson did, and this was born in 1964. Now this one, let me show you the features. Of course, it is double action. See that, double action. You can shoot it either way. It, it's got its adjustable sight right here. Adjustable sight. And out there it's got its bead. I'm telling you something, folks. I don't believe Smith makes them, although they've got the, uh, you can get the uh, Model 57. You can buy it online, etc. But this one here goes back a little bit farther. It's more of a classic, classic version of the 41 caliber. I tell you something now. I judge a gun by the way it's made, by the accuracy of it, by the quality of it. I don't believe that Smith & Wesson makes them like this anymore. Although they do make the 41 Mag. I don't believe they make them like this anymore. This thing is so solid. It's built like a tank. And let me show you. Right here. That right there. locks and when it locks it's locked now this gun let me say this you know of a, a 357 mag and how powerful they are this is power more powerful this the 44 mag is really powerful this one here is very comparable to the 44 only just a slight difference in the power this one's not quite as powerful as a 44 mag is but let me tell you something you can strap this on your waist and go out you can take down a deer with it yes that's what it's used for what do i like about it because it can be used for any type of game that you want to go after you can take down a deer, an elk, even an elk with this. No problem. A, a mountain lion? Yeah. yeah. A big bear? Of course, piece of cake. This gun is almost like brand new. You can't see any scratches on it. Now, you might be be able to spot that on the camera but look at that beautiful artwork look at that it's on both sides look at that artwork that is so so beautiful and it's got that authentic sticker right there and just look at that beautiful shape you talk about a balance man oh man oh man what a balance what a balance, what a balance. Let me show you the bullet. There it is. Now that's a hollow point. That's what I'm gonna be shooting. The one thing I like about this gun, and among other things that I like about it, these right here are beautiful for reloads. You can save a ton of money by reloading these right here. Look at that beautiful silver bullet. Yeah, that's a silver bullet. Look at that. Hollow point. You hit your subject with that, and that bullet is going to explode. And it's going to create a hole in its subject as big as my hand or maybe even bigger because it's got the power. It's got the power. It's got the power. You're talking about something to, to defend your home with. 
this is a little bit overkill for that, but let me tell you, sometimes you've, you've got to do with what you do with. You've got to do it, and in many cases, be settled or settle for what you have. But with something like that, any animal is possible. Any animal is possible. Smith and Wesson, they hit a home run when they built this beautiful gun. I'm telling you, finding something to beat that right there won't be easy. It won't be easy. I give this beautiful gun five stars. Five stars. Why do I give it five stars? Because it's built like a tank and it's rugged. It was made when Smith and Wesson made a gun and they made it like a tank. It's a six-shot revolver. It's accurate. It's rugged. It's reliable. It's dependable. And you put all of those characteristics together and they're unbeatable. Five-star rating on this. Now it's time for you to see what this big gun does. This is a big gun. And you're going to see what it does. I'm going to be shooting about 20 yards. Well, maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. But you're going to see it fired. You're going to see it shoot. So listen, five stars once again. Watch my overall analysis of this gun. Reliable, tough, accurate, made in America, made in America. Can't beat that. So let's go see what this gun will do, okay? All right. I'm going to be shooting right there, folks, at a big old black target. It's actually a metal target. And I've got a concrete block right beside it. We're going to see if we can't break that block as well. But listen, before we do that, I want to uh, say to you that look us up. Look us up on Facebook. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Truth Social, and also on Rumble. So check us out there. And don't forget to look in the box below, and you can find our Patreon page. Listen, carefully, prayerfully, would you do that? Consider supporting this channel through Patreon. We would certainly appreciate it. And of course, all proceeds would go to helping us to keep the videos coming to you every week, every other week. So prayerfully consider that, would you? Prayerfully consider supporting us through Patreon. Now, I want to say this to you. I'm not seeing too well today. That's one of the reasons why I'm shooting pretty close. We're 15 to 20 yards away. I've got to go have cataracts removed from my eyes. Uh, two of them, one in my right and one, of course, in my left. The one in the right is severe, and the one in the left is just a little bit less. But nevertheless, they've got to be removed. So keep us in your prayers, and I'm going to be shooting at that target. So let's do it, okay? I think I'll shoot about five times. Here we are.
Now let me get this camera. And let me say to you, you can see it. I'm going to show you that target. I'm going to show you that block and that steel target. Listen, folks, that thing is so accurate. If a half blind man can do that to that target, believe me, would it matter? Let me tell you, you can, you can put that to the test. That thing is as accurate as a raindrop. So let's go see that target, okay? Take a look at that, folks. I put five shots in that. Look at this. That's a fresh painted target. Right here where my finger's pointed, right there. Look at the power of that 41 Magnum. And look at this concrete block. Four inches thick. Look at that. That took care of business. I gotta say this again. That is an awesome, awesome revolver. Powerful. If you're looking for power and accuracy, you don't need to look any farther than something like that. That's a Smith and Wesson 41 Magnum. That is a gun that you can rely on and believe me, it'll get the job done. Thank you so much for watching and you have a blessed day.